the long-awaited episode two of the gun cycle. Um, yeah, hey, what's up, guys? My name is Daddy Junior Rushes. I do Call of Duty gameplay commentaries today. I have a commentary on Arkadin. Gonna be playing a free for all. And if you guys didn't know, this uh, this um, series is called the gun cycle because I'm gonna cycle through all the guns in the game eventually. Because now I am level 70, and I have pretty much I have two gold guns, but I haven't been on the MW3 lately. And this gameplay is pretty old, but everyone still plays like this. I'm 100% sure because I've been online and they still play like this. <clears throat> Today I'm playing with the M16 and no attachments whatsoever because I never really use this gun ever. But now I, I've unlocked multiple attachments. I, what I recommend for this gun, if you like the sights on this gun, is that I recommend... I'd, I'd recommend red dot... Well, if you like the sights, I recommend rapid fire and extended mags. But if you don't like the sights, now when I use this gun, I use holographic sight or red dot sight with um, with rapid fire. Or you could go stealthy and use the silencer with this gun. <clears throat> I'm just lately I haven't been I I haven't felt like making commentary. As I look at the community today. I mean, sure, they, they, everyone makes good montages and stuff, and all this awesome stuff's going on, but uh, it's getting boring for me. I might, I don't know, I'm debating whether or not I should do this. Should I quit or not? Because, I mean, I'd leave this account on, and I'd go on, I'd be like an active YouTuber, because I usually like commenting on people's videos and just like giving my opinion on things, but should I just stop making videos, because like... I don't know, my, my subscriber base is like dead now, I mean I have like 3,000, like it like YouTube cut off the people who are inactive, so I guess I have 3,800 now. <clears throat> I've been sick these past couple weeks, like the last two weeks I was freaking, I was just out of it. Um, like I, oh also last week my grades were just like dwindling down, I had like two C's and like a B and then I worked my ass off and worked it all back and now I have everything else is an A besides my B in chemistry man chemistry is hard all that molar molarity all that moles periodic table freaking I hate it I hate it so much uh, my friend Joseph he's freaking awesome at chemistry he's an amazing person at chemistry like he's so amazing at it I cannot describe how good he is at it he just sits there and just absorbs the information and he just gets it. And me, it, it takes me a while. Like, even after the teacher's done explaining, it takes me forever to, to understand what the hell she's trying to say. <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, so back to the gameplay. This gun, it's a very versatile gun. You could use it anywhere you want. Basically, Close range, long range, medium range, this gun will do anything for you. It's one of those universal guns that you could use. Very easy to use, you know, the three bursts, it controls the recoil. If you're one of those mad sprayers like me, I just like love spraying things down. I don't care if I run out of ammo. I don't care if I if I waste the whole magazine. I just like spraying shit down. And uh, if you're if you're one of those kinds of people, this wouldn't be the gun for you. I'd recommend a submachine gun. Ooh, double headshot feed. Uh, anyways, I'd recommend like if you want to get it, if you're one of those like fast people, just spray people down, non-camperish. Then I'd recommend using the PP, uh, any submachine gun actually, <clears throat> or any uh, what are those called? Machine pistols. The machine pistols in this game are really good, actually. I I mean, I'm sure most of the commentators you guys watch have said this, but I cannot stress this enough. The machine pistols in this game are amazing. Um, I mean, it's like another submachine gun. But back to what I was saying about this gun. It's a universal gun. You could use it anywhere. What I recommend if, if you're like one of those moderate players in between rushing and camping, this would be perfect for you because you get distance and you get like closeness you could be aggressive with this gun and you could be defensive with this gun <clears throat> the kill streaks i'm running if you if you guys aren't a very good like if you aren't a very good player i would use 357 sort of like the call of duty 4 status 
Uh, back in COD 4, it was UAV, airstrike, and helicopter. If you guys never played Call of Duty 4, if you guys are like new to Call of Duty, um, this is your first Call of Duty. I recommend going back and like. I recommend going back and buying COD 4 just to play because Call of Duty 4 is one of the most amazing games, one of the best games ever made. Um, back before when I said Call of Duty was boring, like I was like losing hope in the community. Uh, Call of Duty 4 is something I'd go back to any day. It's like one of those, one of those games, you know. It was my first Call of Duty. I came over to my friend Brian's house and we just played it all day long. I'd be like, Brian, can I have a turn? Can I have a turn? And like that's how I got into that's he was one of the main things that got me into this commentating shit. <clears throat> no, it starts out little, you know, playing on his account and uh, being a little kid, being a little ten-year-old kid and cussing, trying to cuss people out over the internet. Oh God, I remember I was one of those little squealers, squeakers. My voice was so high pitched. No one. Now my voice is like, oh man, this guy went through puberty. <laughs> and, um, problem in every Call of Duty game, the spawns, god, I hate the spawns in this game. But, you know, it, it, Call of Duty, it's just the right formula, I don't know why, people just keep on coming back for more, even me, I love playing it, even though there's so many faults with all Call of Duties in general. <clears throat> this gun... I would recommend running around the map, like, not directly in the middle, unless you're, you could, like, handle doing 360s, not, uh, 360s as in, like, you could turn around, pop one guy, turn around, do a 180, and pop another guy, like, as in that, that kind of way, but I would recommend having a wall to your back at all times with this gun, because this gun is just, it's unreliable at times, because sometimes the three burst doesn't kill automatically, especially when you're far away, it needs two two three burst rounds <clears throat> yeah this gun's just really easy to use one of the most hardest guns in my opinion to use in the game would be the shotguns I think I'm gonna have a hard time using the shotguns in the series it's and I hope you guys enjoyed the video because the video is coming to an end and uh, I hope you guys like really I hope most of you guys watch this because uh, my subscriber base is pretty much dead. And the people who are watching, God bless your souls. I love you so much. Uh, virtual kiss. Mwah. And uh, that's to your cheek. Not to your mouth. No homo. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like rating if you liked. And if you didn't, then dislike this motherfucker. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.